Do you encourage or teach people to come and live near you because it's safe? I have never encouraged people to come and live with me for any reason, safety or not. Near you, this, this question. Or near, near yeah. me, yeah, for any reason. Mm -hmm. Any person who's come to live near me, most of them have never discussed with me their desire to do so. They've often made the choice without any discussion with us. And I think with yourself, you would have preferred that they hadn't have, in many cases, come to live near us. Oh, that's not... Um, not always the case, but... No, and that's not anything personal about those people. No. I just had some fears about us not having our private, private, space. private space together. Exactly. Yeah. So, you know, the reality is we've never encouraged people to come and live near us for any reason, whether and particularly not for the reason of trying to maintain safety. We've taught people over and over again that safety is not about location. Safety is about what's going on inside of yourself and what you attract. You will attract very unsafe events if you have high levels of fear inside of you, whether you think you're safe or not. And we've told this to people over and over again. And many people have come to live near us, I understand, because they wanted to share more with divine truth. I, I don't see how that's the case either, because oftentimes we're not here. And the only r real way of sharing divine truth with us on a, you know, more occasions is to be present with more of our seminars, no matter where we are. And that probably means traveling around uh, in a similar way that we have been traveling around, which I suppose would then make somebody a groupie. <laughs> and again, we don't really encourage that either. Um, we encourage people to feel about their own desires and passions in their life, and then to follow those desires and passions with passion. And we feel that that will take them to many different places around the world like it's taken us, and uh, it will take them into many different experiences which will be very enjoyable for them. So you d from what you're saying, you don't feel that people need to live near us in order to experience more divine truth even? No, not at all. In fact. What we often find is the people that live near us get more attack from spirits because there are many spirits around us at times opposing divine truth. And often when people come to live near us, they feel more feelings of attack from spirits when they come to live near us. And, that, and that, that's often the case with seminars too. People have often commented when they come to a seminar that sometimes they feel attacked at the seminar by spirits. And that's because there are a lot of spirits wanting divine truth to not succeed on the planet. And as a result, they'll do anything to try to impede the success of divine truth on the planet. So, yeah, what my feelings are, come and live near us if you want to, but make sure it's because it's a personal passion that you're fulfilling of doing something enjoyable in your own life that you wanted to do before you met us. Mm -hmm. um, or after you've heard divine truth, if you find that you want to share in the delivery of divine truth to the world, yes, well, we'd be happy to have as many people as can help us in that process. And mm -hmm. uh, we find that there's some who are very sincere in helping us with that process. And we love engaging those kind of people. But obviously, we're going to want the sincerity if, if we're going to engage that process. Quite often, people want things from us when they come to live near us. And to be honest, you're not going to get anything from us if you come to live near us any more than you'd get anything from us if you lived apart from us. <laughs> mm.